another American Dad reaction. We're on season two, episode 13, Black Mystery Month. I'm guessing it's got something to do with Black History Month, which I'm like 99% sure it's in February. Oh God, is Stan gonna be like one of these fucking people that I'm against it? Cause I've seen a couple of people like that online. Also the mystery part, like does someone have to solve a fucking mystery? <laughs> like that's honestly all I've got. Like some sort of mystery to do with fucking Black History Month. I don't know what this episode could have in it. So let's just go. Oh yeah, it is about black, black history. How many of you sitting in this room have even seen a black person? Um, like, I'm guessing everyone. None of you! Yeah. Okay. The average the... white man thinks about sex every six seconds, but he only thinks about sex with a black man once a year. Okay, yeah. sure. I have no idea what he's talking <laughs> about, but I feel terrible. So the next time you privileged suburban white boys think Beethoven wasn't black, maybe you should look in the mirror! Okay. Yeah, uh, so pick a black guy and do a report. Sure, okay. I get- Is, this, is Steve gonna have- Is Steve gonna solve some sort of fucking mystery through this? Hey, <laughs> lights out! It's past your bedtime. Dad, I'm too old for a bedtime. Steve, how many how? times have I told you if children get less than eight hours of sleep, their boy glands emit a pleasant berry scent that attracts pedophiles? I'm okay. not a kid. You don't have to tell me lies anymore. Fucking a lie. This <laughs> is what a weird lie. Red Why sacred. do you need to go to a grocery store to research this carver guy? To know the man, I must taste the man. Okay. That's weird. Hand me a magnifying glass. Which one? 5X. Why does he just have magnifying glass? Look at the belt buckle on the Robin Hood peanut butter label. It's the same symbol as the dot over the eye in Jiffy. Okay. It's even on Union Brand, America's first peanut butter. Where? In President Peanut's monocle. <laughs> That's just his eye. Look Wait. closer. What the face? This sounds like Illuminati conspiracy theory, except it's fucking peanut. <laughs> Look, every jar of peanut butter has this same symbol on it. I think there might be some kind of conspiracy. Honestly, it seems it seems like the people are facing the consequences. Shit. I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to follow this through, okay. even if it means I have to talk to the creepy librarian with the burned ear. <laughs> Why is he creepy? What the fuck? Okay, he knows something. What is it? Some yeah, some sort of fucking society. Like the Illuminati, except it's fucking peanuts. Peanut music. Well, what's going on? I, I have an appointment with the curator. The curator was murdered. What? Oh my god! What? Okay. Told him? Funny, I never said he was murdered. Yes. Yes, you, yes, you did. God, he's wedged into the mouth of a giant bust of George Washington Carver. What the fuck? That's classified. How'd you know that? Because it's right there. You don't get it, kid. He did it to himself. He what? was stabbed and left for dead. He managed to climb up there right after he scrawled a dying message in his own blood. Okay. In the elf condom. What does it mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means we're looking for a horny midget that plays <laughs> it safe. I was going to say, in the elf condom. Like, what the fuck? That's the only way that could make sense. That's an anagram for find the monocle. My selective dyslexia disorder finally pays off! Okay. That's very convenient. <laughs> Find the monocle. Let's see, mono means one, and coal is a type of sl- Isn't the monocle just one of those stupid fucking things? This is the monocle! Hey! What are you doing in here? Nothing! What the mm, fuck? Sweet berries. Okay. Hey, get enough sleep last night? Okay, what the fuck? That- That- is insane that the fact that Stan was right about that. Peanut butter, crunchy, creamy, <gasps> creamy. No, no, that means yeah. That's good about Stan. What did Steve Smith? You need to come with us. Why? Um, why? You want a free air conditioner? Awesome. Okay. <gasps> yeah, I was gonna say if you fucking fell for that, you're an idiot. What the hell? What is he shooting? Don't worry, they're just blanks. Oh. Why did you do that? Because that's the last fun you're going to have for a long time. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why are these people chasing me? You stumbled upon the most dangerous secret in American history. Okay. Now they want you to pay for it with sure. your life. Ah! JK. Steve, keep it down. I don't think we're supposed to be on this roof. Or, like, they're going to fucking know where you are if you scream at it. Steve, this conspiracy dates back to the Civil War. Really? This that's is what that. I know. Is that President Lincoln? Yes. It was 1865. The North's victory over the South was imminent. We can force emancipation of the slaves upon the South, but I fear those crackers will never embrace the Negro as their equal. Speaking of crackers, 
What is this delicious paste upon which I am snacking? It tastes as if derived of the nutted pea. Don't eat that. That's one of my wife's lunatic concoctions for staving off evil spirits. Okay. Jeez. One day, a man will walk on the moon. I mean, she's not wrong. What? Upon my chain, you surely do yank. Gentlemen, the solution to our problem is spread before us. Okay. Lincoln's plan was simple. He would introduce this delicious new spread to the South and credit its invention to a black man. Okay. It wasn't until 31 years later that the plan was resurrected by our nation's greatest president, Grover Cleveland. Okay, I don't Cleveland know who that is. a young black botanist who had developed hundreds of uses for peanuts. Incredibly, mashing them up and eating them wasn't one of them. <laughs> but Cleveland constructed an ingenious plan allowing Carver to receive credit for the invention. Wow. Okay, that That's is a Washington very Carver weird didn't fucking... invent peanut butter. That's right. You're one of the few people outside of the Illuminati who knows this. Wait, so that is actually the Illuminati. Why is it fucking simple of peanuts instead of like the eye? But no one extreme. will believe us unless we have the jar of proof. A jar oh. containing physical evidence that Carver didn't invent peanut butter. Okay, Where how is this jar? Only the curator knew. The Illuminati's been looking for it for decades. And when they find it, they'll destroy it. We've okay. got to find it first, so America will know the truth. Well, we do have one thing the Illuminati doesn't. Which is... A map I found... That is a very shitly p fucking drawn map. It's an old strip club. Well, okay, well, they're getting fucking bored. I don't know who the guy is that's not chasing it. Okay, it's the fucking... Well, strip the flag holes in the VIP room. It took you 45 minutes to figure that out? Yeah, no, and it definitely. also didn't take me $300. Dad, old glory wasn't a flag. She was our nation's first stripper, and that's the pole that bore her. Like, well, I was, okay, that is a Look, weirdly shaped symbol. pole. We got How has no one noticed that fucking symbol, though? Steve, are you sure about this? Stop treating me like a little kid. I was right about the pole, wasn't I? I mean, yeah. What the fuck? It's okay, working. what is this fucking, like, Lord of the Rings now? I mean, what the hell is happening? Soon, the beam of light will show us the exact location of the... Yeah, I was about to say, wouldn't it just set on fire? What have you done? You've ruined everything! I'm sorry, Dad. I'm... a genius! Look! What the fuck? Lastly, okay. tip your hat in the Garden of Eden. It's the last clue! Duh, Garden of Eden? Really? <laughs> fuck up, Seth. What the fuck? But this is the only peanut plant in this whole place. The hat has got to be in here. It's empty. It's a dead end. Fudge! Wait, Steve, Wait, yeah, I was about to say, don't isn't declare that a fudge hat? just yet. Look, the symbol. And the pot is shaped like a hat. It's the yeah, wasn't that kind of puzzle. obvious? Even Wait a minute. Up. Monocle, cane, hat. All the clues are things that President oh, Peanut shit. wears. Great work, Steve. All is this an actual brand of peanut butter? I'm, I mean, I live in this. I've never seen it before. Caucuses. No, Dad. What we need is a 20-foot president. Fuck me, is this like taking them like of all course. the way around the country? Lincoln though. was the father of the conspiracy. The original President Peanut. Well, here goes. What's it gonna do? Fucking make it come to life? What? Well, shit, okay. How has no one actually, like, found it? Okay, that's a weird image. <laughs> but how has no one noticed this before? Dad, there it is! What the fuck is that? Oh. I thought it was like a Jesus statue or something for, for a second. Um, why does he have a... Can't reach it. Steve, I'll help you up. Is he, so is he part of the fucking Luminati or whatever? Booby trap! There's something inside. It's the playbill from the night oh, when he was assassinated. It's got his blood and all the names he considered for peanut butter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, now hand it over. Now the world can know the truth. Right, Dad? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Give me, give me. I didn't know. I'm, I, I was honestly very surprised that, you know, he was, like, going along with this. But then it turns out he's a part of the fucking Illuminati thing as well. You're one of them. You don't care about the truth. You're just going to destroy it. <gasps> it's over, boy. Who the give hell me is the that? Jar. President Jimmy Carter. I don't know who the fuck that is. Why does he look like that? President Peanut. <laughs> I'm sorry, son. 
When were you gonna tell me you were part of the Illuminati? Steve, that's crazy. I was never gonna tell you. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, this entire time I was like, it's so weird seeing Stan being like nice and all that and but then like I don't know, he was a part of it. I'm doing the grown-up thing here. Okay. Which is and so the safety of our nation will forever be ensured. God bless America! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, okay! I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, Jesus Christ. Let's get out of here! Oh, wait, I was, I, I was wondering why that fucking guy was just standing behind him and not doing anything the entire time. There's jars on him! That was so awesome! Well, I learned it from you. I guess maybe you are all grown up. Thanks, Dad. Now come on, we've got some truth yeah, to I'll spread. Just... Wait, that's the wrong jar. I was gonna what? say it didn't that's look impossible. like he switched. I thought you it. made the switch. What happened? Oh, I had to make the switch. Oh my! I, I thought it was like a magic backpack or something. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I guess I got a lot of right. I did that. It must have had something to do with Black History Month because because I mean obviously, fucking mystery rhymes with history. But I didn't expect it to go. Some big fucking conspiracy route. I mean, I guess I kind of should have gathered that from the fact that there was a mystery involved. But I didn't expect it to be the fucking Illuminati and Stan to be a part of it. Because I thought it was... I was kind of shocked the fact that Stan just went along and he was actually, you know, having a nice time with his children. I mean, he does sometimes, but other times he is a kind of a prick. But fuck me, like, then it turned out that he was a part of it the entire time and it basically had an Illuminati tramp stamp. I mean, there was that, I mean, it's not, it was barely even a B-plot, because it, it was like, very like, rarely actually in the episode, but that fucking Roger and Haley playing Jenga, which I mean, that felt very, just, unnecessary, like, it was kind of funny, but that whole bit felt like it was just slapped in there because they needed more time for the episode to get to like, to 22 minutes. I mean, that was a pretty decent episode, like, I did like the whole fucking mystery of figure solving who the fuck actually made peanut butter which i mean i guess i'll see you next time hope you enjoyed bye bye